Hi everyone, welcome to this Jenkins tutorial, Continuous Integration 101, How to Run JMeter with Jenkins. My name is Jason Silverman. I work at BlazeMeter, which provides a SaaS platform for load and performance testing, including as part of the continuous integration process. Why is performance testing important in the continuous integration process? Adding performance tests to your CI scope will help you reduce the risk of performance degradations whenever you add a new feature or fix a bug in your product. For example, if your latest commit inadvertently causes response times to go above an acceptable threshold or SLA, your CI system will automatically raise a red flag and mark the build as failed. This will make it very easy for you to identify the cause behind the problem. What's more, it's much better to start running performance tests in the early software development stages, what is now being referred to as shifting left. If you detect a major error in the pre-release phase, it will be much harder to identify and fix the issue. Today I'll be showing you how to add your performance testing with Apache JMeter to a Jenkins continuous integration build. I chose these tools for today's demonstra demonstration because they are the leading open source tools for performance testing and CI. The fact that they are open source and extremely popular means that they have a great they have great documentation and a large active community where you can ask questions. Let's talk about how to install the Jenkins and JMeter plugin. I'm assuming that you already have uh, Jenkins up and running somewhere. If you want to experiment, it's pretty easy to get Jenkins. Here's how: you simply have to download the latest Jenkins release from the Jenkins. Uh, ci.org website. Note that the WAR file should be quite enough. You can see on the screen both the URL of the website and where to download it from. Then you want to run Jenkins as Java jar Jenkins WAR, which you can see in the top there from the arrow, and wait for the Jenkins is fully up and running message. Next, open this URL, which you can see on the screen, localhost 8080, in your favorite browser. And now you should be able to see the Jenkins dashboard. To get JMeter support on Jenkins, you need to use the performance plugin. Once again, it's really easy to install the plugin. Here's how. First, download the latest version of the plugin from the performance plugin page, which you can see on the screen. Next, you want to copy this performance.hpi file to the plugins folder of your Jenkins installation. If you run Jenkins from the WAR file, drop the plugin to the uh, Jenkins plugins path under your user home folder, and then restart Jenkins to pick the plugin up. Okay, so if everything went as planned, you should see the Publish Performance Test uh, Result Report uh, option under the Jenkins Your Project Configure Add Post Build Action dropdown. You can see that on the screen. Now let's talk about how to run a JMeter test in Jenkins, which you'll be happy to hear is not very complex. Just remember that the test has to be run in non-GUI mode. For the first couple of runs, I recommend telling JMeter to store its results in an XML format using one of these approaches. You can add the JMeter Save Service Output Format XML line to the user properties file, which is located in the bin folder of your JMeter installation. You can see the uh, URL I'm talking about in the command line there. Pass the property via the J command line arguments such as, and what you can see, JMeter bin, JMeter bad, JMeter save, save service, output, format, uh, equals XML, NT, and then what the rest you can see on the screen. See JMeter extras, test JMX-1, uh, test.jtl. You can also use CSV files with the performance pl plugin. However, this requires extra configuration, whereas XML files work fine out of the box. Here's how it looks when you configure the Windows batch command to run a JMeter test. Okay. To verify the execution was successful, 
or to get extra information regarding any problems, check the console output tab of the project in question. If the JMeter log file and the JTL, res uh, sorry, in the JMeter log file and the JTL results file, you can find it under the project's workspace. Now let's look at how to use the performance plugin. The performance plugin displays statistics and trends and can also be used to mark builds as failed based on the results. Here's how you add it. You want to open the Jenkins project, click the configure button, click the add post build action button, and then select either, you can see in the drop down menu, either JMeter if your results file is in an XML file format, or JMeter CSV if your results file is in a CSV format. Reports, uh, report files, uh, which you can see on the top of the screen here under JMeter, is the main configuration option here. This is the path where the plugin will scan for JMeter results files. The format matches the AND file sets include excluded format, and it's relative to the Jenkins workspace for the project. All the other names of the settings here are quite self-explanatory. On the first build with the plugin enabled, you'll see the empty charts for the performance trend. The charts will change though as you create more builds. Uh, they will display average, median, and 90 percentile values along with the errors count. They're also, the charts are clickable so you can get more detailed information on each executed sampler. Uh, let's now move on to passing the Jenkins parameters to a JMeter test. Jenkins allows you to specify build parameters. For example, if you uh, click on the this build is parameterized, uh, par parameterized uh, box on the configure page, uh, you'll be able to set some parameter names along with the default values. This means that you can perform the configuration of your JMeter test without having to change anything in your JMX script or AND or MAVEN configuration. For instance, if you define the parameter with the name foo and the value bar, you can refer to it as, and you can see on the screen, um, this using this percentage, uh, percentage foo percentage, if the Jenkins build is executed on a Windows machine, or dollar sign foo if the Jenkins build is executed on Linux, Unix, or a Mac OS X machine. See here an example of setting up a JMeter thread count and accessing it from a JMeter Windows batch command text. This is uh, just the larger screen, which I wanted to show you. And now just to zoom up on the, uh, the, the text itself in the command box, you can see that here. If you run the, um, the build once more and take a look into the console output, you'll see that the percentage threads uh, percentage variable has been changed with the relevant parameter value. That's pretty much it, how to run uh, JMeter with Jenkins. Uh, just one final note, if you're a user of BlazeMeter, which is 100% uh, JMeter compatible. You can use BlazeMeter's Jenkins plugin to kick off a test in the BlazeMeter cloud directly from Jenkins. More can be found at the BlazeMeter plugin page. Um, so yeah. For more information before you go, if you want to find more information about BlazeMeter and to sign up and, for free, you can go to blazemeter.com. You can also follow us on Twitter, at BlazeMeter. I also encourage you to check out a few different resources page. One is our blog, which covers a ton of information about Apache JMeter, Jenkins, CI and CD at blazemeter.com slash blog. You can also check out blazemeter.com slash resources for a bunch of webinar recordings and other videos and uh, white papers and much more. And if you have any additional questions or demo requests, please contact sales at blazemeter.com. Thank you very much, everyone. Have a great day.